non-human intelligence exists. Non-human intelligence has been interacting with humanity on this planet. This interaction is ongoing and it's not new. And there is zero doubt. So we can look at uh, several presidents, Barack Obama, President Trump. They both said UAP are real. We can look at, as was mentioned earlier, Chris Mellon, Dave Grush, Lou Elizondo have said non-human intelligence is real. We can look at uh, Lord of the Fleet, uh, Lord uh, Hill Norton, a chief of the defense staff in the United Kingdom in past years, have said UFOs are real. We can look at the first Earl Mountbatten of Burma in the United Kingdom again that have said UFOs are real. We can look at the chief of the Canadian uh, Defense Ministry, Paul Hellyer, who have said non-human intelligence is real. We can look at Haim Eshed, who is the Israeli's uh, father of their space program, who has said non-human intelligence is real. All these people and more would be in a position to know. Then we can look at uh, the evidence, the data. You've seen the videos, the floor video, the gimbal, the go fast. A lot of people probably don't know Gordon Cooper, one of America's seven Mercury astronauts, chased UFOs over West Germany in 1951. He testified to that fact before the United Nations in 1978, analogous to the David Fravor Tic Tac incident. We can look at the UFO incursions over the northern tier ballistic missile earning warning sites in the 70s and the document supported and testimony supported readiness status change of our ICBMs in the 60s at Maelstrom Air Force Base where many missiles were taken offline by a UFO. The analogous thing happened in the Soviet Union contemporaneously. In their case, the missiles were brought online. There's an agreement between the United States and at the time the Soviet Union intending to reduce the threat of nuclear war that talks about each party notifying the other if UFOs are impinging on their warfighting systems because this was recognized as a fact. There's documentary evidence, the Twining Memo from 1947. General Nathan Twining, future chief of staff of the US Air Force, wrote a memorandum that said UFOs are most likely extraterrestrial. There is an official Canadian, uh, official Australian documents declassified on the National Archives of Australia from 1971 from their defense attache that made a formal assessment of the United States interest in UFOs, the reality of that, and the fact that the US was investigating anti-gravity programs in concert with looking into UFOs, a conclusion that would make no sense unless the reality of this topic was demonstrated. So some people say, well, if this is real, you know, why don't they fly over uh, the White House or something? Well, in 1952, UFOs flew over Washington, D.C. over two weekends. There were radar visual sightings. There were air-to-air -air intercepts, and it created the largest press conference since World War II up to that time. People say, well, why don't they just land during the middle of the day? Well, that happened in 1994 in Ari at the Ariel School in uh, Rura, Zimbabwe, where UFOs presented themselves with beings and occupants on the ground uh, witnessed by numerous children. The exact same incident happened in 1966 in West Hall, Australia. The people that uh, witnessed those events are still alive, and they uh, continue to state the assertion of that being a factual occurrence. So these things taken together, along with much other evidence, suggest that this is absolutely true. And I'm speaking to you today to tell you that there is zero doubt this is absolutely true. I know this personally. So the way to solve this problem is to motivate the grassroots. Political activism is the solution to restoring proper oversight, developing a process for responsible disclosure, and advancing society through the efforts of that process. So I salute you for your participation in this event. Again, I thank New Paradigm Institute. I'm humbled to be able to address you and participate with you in this historic occasion, and I wish you the best. God bless.